My elephant Van Peebles, he, he once told me, uh, he, uh, Hollywood lists by the golden rule. He who makes the gold rules. So if they're paying for it, they want to see themselves reflected in, in the movie. But the, I don't know if you've seen these recent films uh, like 42 and The Butler and The Help. You know, they were, they were all made over $100 million. And they all sort of had a perspective that racism is something that America tackled in the 60s. Fine. It's not my problem. I, I, uh, I don't see these movies, one, they don't bother me. I create a space, as you see here, this is my place, this is my liberated territory. Thanks to those who went to Sankofa to see, they gave me an editing space, I'm grateful. So it's not my problem. See, it's very bad to compare, you know, because it's like saying um, to a, a slave that wants to, uh, an enslaved African to run away planning to run away, telling him about the uh, black folks in the big house have infiltrated a good life, so why escape? It don't make no sense. So for me, um, they, they're not my modality. In fact, I have, I would say I have white filmmakers I respect more than just a black filmmaker. I'm not a nationalist blind, mm -hmm. in fact, I believe in this, you know, class stratification. Uh, the only contemporary movie I've seen is Selma. Mm -hmm. uh, outside that, I do not care. I'm not compelled to get in my car and go see a movie. I've seen some in a jury, international jury, and they don't grab me. Because I can tell from the writing, from the way it's concocted, the hands of uh, the white power structure, white supremacy, or the culpritness of the black filmmaker in bringing about white power in his or her imagination. They don't mean nothing to me. And nor would I see them as adversary or fight. I rarely talk, I mean, I don't even think about them because the preoccupation itself would, would, would have to be from a problem. I don't have no problem. I, I don't I have a problem with a, a, a very contented black person in this planet. I'm discontented. Mm -hmm. Irresistibly discontented black people are attractive to me. Okay. <laughs> so, we, so you, 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 what is, is it catharsis through your art? No. Like, or or no. You, you observe, at, you're at this you're a stage, you can observe this, know what's going on, and still... Other I focus do. because I think those you know black folks who should be busy about inventing with whatever humble uh, resource they have should concentrate on that and not be diverted because one of the techniques of white supremacy is always trickling um, cadres of um, uh, their own ideological soldiers impersonating uh, your interest. To be diverted is equally a problem for me. I don't care for those black people who are preoccupied to argue every time Hollywood makes a black film. I don't go for that. Mm -hmm. I think that energy should be spent productively, even if only you paint one frame of your grandmother. That's more power than debating for hours on Precious or something. To me, it's irrelevant. I don't join it. It's not my type uh, or my way of, uh, that is diversionary. Mm -hmm. And the system f feeds that and lives off of that. So what, what's the goal? What, 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 what's your mission statement? To make my movie, to make my story. Tell my story without thinking all this diversionary things that hijack your, you know, your, your, your power or right of imagination. Eva, since you brought her name, I think she's a, an amazing strategist. I'm studying her moves to see you know, she's cooking, unlike many people I know. I mean, uh, I don't know Tyler Perry. I don't know none of everybody, you know, most of the people you mentioned. But with her, I'm waiting to see um, her, her, you know, this skillful strategy. Um, and it's, uh, uh, you know, survivalist mechanism. Mm -hmm. In or out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure, she, she's too smart, I don't think she, I think she knows from what I'm gathering a little bit of by her, I don't know her very well, but I think she's smart. I don't think she would 
uh, put all her eggs in Hollywood like many black people who did and became now completely uh, humiliatingly beggars. Mm. And that's a lesson for her and any, all the other young people. And so for me, it's not a big deal. We've known, we've known rich black people. Uh, in Chicago, there was one of the, in fact, I always wanted to make a film on this man who was one of the biggest, richest black men on earth. And when depression hit, he was the first to go to jail and ended up as a doorman to all the people he exploited in slum dwelling relationship. And so we've known mm. Rivers, we've known claims. So, so, so you, no one gets out alive, no one, if you're black, it's, yeah. hard, to, I mean, it's we, hard to leave here. Let me tell you, money. my brother, where is, the black, where is the black bank that we knew existed at a certain time? Where is, you know, where is the black capital? So is that the biggest issue? Is it, is it fi financing the films or is it getting audiences to go support films? Well, to me, I, I think audiences is not, uh, to me, black people, if you make a credible, honest effort in making, responding your true feeling, however imperfect that is, Black people will embrace you. We proved it with Sankofa. Black people will embrace you. Without big publicity, without anything, they will embrace, embrace you. The problem here is, I don't think they've delegated us to compromise them in boardrooms and tell, you know, change their stories by creating all these things that white filmmakers or white artists do not have. White artists don't have the pressure of living up to like saying, oh, we have to have 10 black people in the story. There should be, we, uh, we're shooting in DC, it can't be all white. They don't, they just make movies. I think black people, you know, always go in a room and are told it has to be streamlined. Even uh, you take Selma. I mean, uh, if I did Selma, the LBJ will not be in the story. And they were like, and she was good enough to let them have LBJ in the film. Mm. Uh, she, uh, she inherited the script, it came with it. But I'll tell you, they should be grateful he is in the story because he does not deserve to be in the story. Mm -hmm. Okay? So they don't get, you know, they don't get satisfied. They get greedy and gave the sister hell. Okay? They should be uh, happy and grateful for letting LBJ be part. No, there were more other stories that could be told instead of the time he occupied in the screen time. Yeah, well, that was a big that was a big controversy, and some people feel like it cost them some nominations. The the fact that there was some backlash that LBJ was was represented, sort of, they felt unfairly in the film. Well, I, I don't think I, I don't I don't think I I, I think you know to me um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, um, the project. Uh, was snatched from, uh, you know, from uh, white power structure, and it cannot be forgiven. You know, it's a film that has moments that are unforgettable, unforgettable on, on especially Martin Luther King's as a human being. Uh, it's a film I appreciated because it, it made Martin Luther King a human being instead of a myth. I'm very grateful for her for doing that film, but at the same time. Uh, LBJ should not have been in the film. Ye tutlige. Yeah. You should write it abbreviation wise. What's wrong with you? Ye tut, ye tutlige. You it's have a, it. That's right there. Yeah. And child of. Ye tutlige. Child of is her creation. 